All right, good morning, everybody. Theme of February is patience. Trying to be more patient with my trades. When I was looking through all my trader sync stats from January, it was the overwhelming majority, had I just waited a few more minutes even, would have made a lot more money overall. So trying to be more patient going into February, but it was kind of a struggle today. So we're gonna see it in this video. By the way, if you haven't heard, this is my last day trading until Tuesday of not this coming week, but next week. I'm gonna be gone all this coming week. Do have videos planned for you guys uh, otherwise, but won't be here trading. So this is my last trading day until then. So I'm gonna miss it, but we're gonna break it down in this video. Let's go, let's trade. Hey guys, are you tired of using the same old stock market scanner and getting the same old results? Add some intensity to your trading with the Intensity Stock Watch Scanner. The Intensity Indicator is the only predictive price action indicator that alerts before significant reversals, allowing trade management with unprecedented timing and accuracy. Now with this exclusive link and code GDTISW, you can get 20 to 30% off every month on your subscription. It's time to finally get the results you've been looking for and intensify your trading with the Intensity Stock Watch Scanner. Okay, first trade of the day was here on AI and it was actually making a pretty decent move here uh, out of the opening gates. You can see it's moved from 22 all the way up to 2365, which is where I start my entry here of 200 shares short. And I was thinking, where would I want this to start piecing it out? Well, at least under 2330. Uh, to start taking a partial here and I was just thinking about a partial under 2330 so it's coming down towards 2330 and it bounces there in the low 2330s and I'm not able to get any uh, share size out there down below 2330 because it never broke below there so now it's just going to have to wait and see what it does it actually wants to make another leg higher here so as it's pushing up through 24 I'm looking to add in because it wasn't too much of a pullback there so I think this thing still has a good chance of doing a decent pullback so I go ahead and add in there 400 more shares up at around 2410 average is now 2383 with those 400 and I'll either be looking for a move back down under the 2350s at this point or if we get up through 2450 I will be looking to add in uh, another 400 shares so we're gonna see what happens here and this is kind of the spot where this trade didn't work and you're gonna see why and it's kind of a frustrating why but you know sometimes uh, it's gonna happen so uh, we're gonna see as it pushes up here it's coming up towards that 2450 so I'm gonna look to get my ad in here I see it push up a little bit through I'm like is it gonna go is it gonna go is it gonna go no I put my order out there 200 or 400 shares at 2454 and I don't get a fill and it comes back down immediately. So I tried to get 400 more shares at 2454, uh, didn't get it. Would have brought my average up to like 2420-ish, something like that, maybe a little bit lower, but uh, would have been around 2420-ish, somewhere in there with the average with 800 shares. And then you can see it does start making the pullback from here. So it would have been nicely in the money if I had those 800 shares, but at this point is now, uh, how do I manage this that I didn't get the entries uh, quite right. So I think I'm just going to take off three quarters of my position here at a loss. Just reduce it down in case this is the pullback and it wants to move higher from here. So I take off uh, 300 of the shares there at a loss, see if the other 100 shares can go any further. But pretty frustrated with that one overall just because I tried. I did try maybe a second late, but I did try to get those extra 400 shares in, which would have been nicely green right here. And then we do see it start to come down a little bit more. So I put the order out here at 2370 and I just take the whole thing off there for a $24 loss. So $24 loss, really not that bad considering managed it okay once I didn't, you know, get that ad in there. But, you know, had we had that 800 shares up around 24, uh, 20, that 40 cents move right there is, you know, very looking very good. So disappointed in that. But Later on, I am going to try to test my patience again here. I go ahead and get into SOUN short 300 shares at an average of 275. And this time I did a pretty good job with my patience. Actually, the best I've done in a, quite some time because look at this thing. We go by like 20 minutes or so and this thing has gone sideways. It actually made a new high. I actually almost added in. I wanted to see it a little bit higher to add in. So I didn't quite get that, but uh, it had previous 
uh, support line at 266. Huge support there, 266 previously that it bounced off of. So finally, after 20 something minutes, as it comes down and breaks that, I take half. But I still want to try and be patient in case this thing has more downside to it. So I only take half there, and I'm going to see if the other 150 shares now at this point can get down a little bit lower for me. So really good patience so far with it, and it's even going to get better because it bounced big another 10, 15 minutes or so before it finally made another leg to the downside. It's under 260 now, and I'm watching it here as it's getting some support just under the 260s, not making much of a move under the 260s there. So I'm starting to think about just taking the whole thing off right here, and I'm going to go ahead and put the order out and get my fill here for the last 150 shares at 259. So, you know, overall pretty happy with this SOUN trade. It's only $38, but at least it gets me out of the red and into small green on the day. And more than anything, I'm happy with the trade itself. So that's unfortunately going to do it for me. Really didn't trade my best this week overall. I think that was pretty clear. Just didn't really get anything going great. Uh, there's a few that I was early on, a few that I was fighting a little bit here and there. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to move on, enjoy my weekend or my time away next week. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the videos that I have planned for you. So thank you for being here. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. I'll see you later.